Hey guys, Halo Boy Vash here. Today we have the Cheerson CX20 and we're going to take a look at it, how it flies in the different modes and see how all that works out. I have a get up, get to action cam strapped to the bottom of it. And the CX20 takes a 11.4 volt 2700 milliamp per hour battery and I just took some black vinyl electrical tape and ran it around and made myself a little pull tab to put it in the back here and here's the controller as you can see there's a lot of different switches on it um, these top two here don't do anything right now these will be your trims and your throttle and as you can see I have a little cheat sheet here for these settings 00 is manual 01 is GPS hold 02 is return to home 10 is the loiter which I'll show you about that there's a neat trick for that 11 is headless and 12 is altitude hold so um, basically what this thing can do is uh, pretty much link up to satellites. You will have a red light here and a green light here. And the best way to do that is to actually put it in one zero and the motors will not arm until it is linked up into at least I believe six satellites. So that's going to be the best option. So let's go ahead and uh, plug it up and we'll get everything going here. Okay. You can see my green light maybe you can see that the green lights flashing the red lights flashing now when the green light gets solid it's solid now it's linked up to a satellite that doesn't mean it's linked up to them all it just means that it has a connection so it's best to wait and we'll check in loiter mode before we take off to make sure i'm going to go ahead and Turn on the camera down here. Okay, we've got that recording. All right. Now normally there is a lot of different uh, calibrations you need to do out of the box to get this in the air. I didn't try that and it gave me a lot of problems with the GPS hold and um, what I found out, uh, shout out to the RC uh, RC group, the forums on there, those guys helped me a lot to get this thing working correctly. But basically what you want to do is get this connected to uh, Mission Planner and that way you can calibrate everything and it works completely like a different quad after that. And um, Let's just go ahead and uh, see if loiter mode will power up. So, to disengage the motors, you'll hold the bottom left stick to the bottom left. Your red light will be blinking, that means there's no power. To engage them, if it's linked up to at least six satellites, we'll hold it to the bottom right. And you see we have a solid light here and a green solid so now you can take it out of loiter I'm going to put it in zero zero for manual you can see it's armed so it's armed to the left it's blinking it's disarmed to the right armed Okay, let's take it up. Um, basically, a good thing to do whenever you want to get it up off the ground, 
don't ease it up it's really best just to give it a little little pop up let's arm the motors and here we go and you might hear the controller beeping that is for when you have it set on mid throttle it will beep if you have it lower than mid throttle it won't beep and here is just in manual mode hello there fella okay let's go ahead and zero one now we're on GPS lock And I'm sitting right at the middle. As you can see, it's trying to hold its position here. Take it up a little bit. And we've got a pretty good lock here. So if you put it in one, two, now we're just setting that altitude hold. It's going to hold itself. One, one is our headless. So I can point it towards me. Forward's going to be forward. Back's going to be back. Left and right. Now let's go ahead, put it back in GPS hold. All right, let's send it up. Okay, now let's bring it home. Um, zero two is your return to home. So, zero and two. And it should land pretty close to where we took off. I'm hoping it does. It's right above us. I want to get out of the way here. Try not to get into the direct sunlight so you can see it land.
you see it will land itself. Maybe. Back on track. Coming right on down. And just throttle it down. And you can see the turn home works pretty good. If you leave it sitting here without disengaging the motors, it will automatically disengage them itself. And because you can see right now, there's nothing on the stick. So you go up to half throttle above it, makes a noise. Now, get it back on, hold it to the bottom right. We have a solid light, and we are in manual. Switch that back to GPS. got a pretty good wind here ideally you're going to want to fly it with no wind but the brushless motors seem to hold up pretty good in this wind it's about I'm gonna say six seven miles per hour right now really smooth and steady except when a gust comes in that's hard on any of them Okay, gonna bring it back down gently. Trying to. Wind's getting me pretty good here. Yeah. We don't want to land on blacktop anymore. I learned that the hard way the first time. Um, when everything wasn't calibrated completely correct. Uh, flip forward and really uh, damage my props on it and another thing you definitely don't want to throttle all the way down because it will just drop so you want to get it pretty close to the ground and then just ease it down and then hold it all the way down and then it kill itself like so make sure bottom left disarm your motors now it's safe and we can go ahead and uh, power it off and there you have it guys let's see I think you're still recording I hope Good there. And there you have it folks. C 
CX-20 by Cheerson. Um, there is a whole lot of different mods that you can do for this, uh, ranging from FPV, um, getting on screen telemetry. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do. And, um, but basically what I can take from this is you might think it's a ready to fly out of the box and in most cases it is, but there are some things you're going to want to do to make it work a little better for you. And um, I don't know if I've already shown it or which way I'm going to lay it out in this video, but I'll have this open and, uh, and show you what I've done to the inside and uh, tell you where I found all my information at. But here it is, guys, the CX-20. Thanks for watching. Bye.